Hey guys, Pokemon Wall Street here, and welcome to a new video. This time it's a little bit different. This time we're gonna be reacting. Yes, I need to grow my audience and enter the weird side of YouTube that just capitalizes off of other people's productions and creations. This time we're gonna be reacting to Jake Paul. It's every day, bro. Song featuring Team 10. Official music video, and that's the title. Now, I have only seen the first like 10 seconds of this and I already stopped and I was like, I have to make a video of this because it's, oh, it it's great. This reminds me of my proxy song that I made as a parody for a video game and I try to make it as cringy as possible. I think he's for real. I think, I think he's making this, I think he's serious. Okay, let's go. Very attractive white people. Oh, nice car. Okay, the, that part right there, that's that's up to the where I've seen, 11 seconds, I was very close. That reminds me of my proxy song of like, random rapper noises, yeah, random rapper noises, ooh! The, that, that's what it reminds me of. It's just a white guy making funny, weird, cringy things, and if he is, if he is for real, then he's an idiot, but if he if he's not, and he's playing it like he's for real, he's one of the biggest smartest masterminds of this world let's go it's every day bro with the disney channel flow okay so he's showing off that he's so good on youtube that he got five million subscribers in six months it's pretty good respectable he's a very attractive white man who already had a fan base on vine and he put all those millions of Vine followers and they all just transfer off to YouTube and all the little 12 year old girls that are very impressionable will fall for him. Marketing. You're, uh, you're very... It's only been 22 seconds and I already have problems with this. So, uh, sure, PewDiePie is next and you already, he tweeted out, uh, watch out Kendrick, you know, I'm, I'm number one in iTunes, but like, Five hours after that, he was not even one top 100. So, this dude I thinks he's too good. Kendrick would say, be humble. Roly. We like to use the term Roly, not Rolex. Team 10, bitch, who the hell up the venue? And you know I kicked them out. forced rhyme he's trying to make it all fit in the flow he didn't take enough time or his writers didn't take enough time because he obviously didn't write this however uh, cheapest writers he got i could have done a better job in like 10 hours if i only used those 10 hours to write and instead of snoring coke and saying oh yeah let's just cram as many words as possible it doesn't matter what the flow is bro begging for attention talking shit on twitter too that's him. But you still hit my phone last night. It was 452 and I got the text approved. Hmm, another forged rap. And all the recordings too. That's another forced rap. We can't do this. This is bad. Don't make me tell them the truth. <sighs> As a producer, I can accept the beats are great. Uh, team 10 is probably the producing crew or their rapping crew or whatever it is. The production value, really good. Camera value, really good. Everything, really good. And I just dropped some new merch And it's selling like a god church Ohio's where I'm from We chew them like it's gum We chew in What is he pointing at? With a gun The tattoo just for fun You're gonna regret that I used to bolt and run Catch me at game one I cannot be outdone Chick Paul is number one It's every day, bro It's every day, bro It's every day, bro I said it's every day Who is that guy? And bitch, we back again, always first, never last. We the future. His his rap style is uh, lacking a bit. You know, he doesn't have his unique style. He's, I like his voice, and his rap is way better. His pacing, tempo, really good. Uh, Logan Paul, I mean, 
Jake Paul has the better, he's got the, the style, right? He's got his, his moves and song thing, but he's lacking on the rhythm department. So if you fuse these two guys together, like, you get the, a pretty good rapper. And if you put the British accent from the other guy, you get a good guy. We'll see you in the it's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I said it's every day, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can we switch the language? Okay, I'm gonna be very harsh with this one. I can already smell the weed. Or maybe that's my microphone. Okay. I respect the style. Respect the flow. Good voices. Uh, very lacking on the rhyme department. They probably wrote their own verses and they probably had like a lot of time and they probably smoking a little too much, you know, doing too many things. They're very good. The rhymes are not as cool as I thought they were gonna be, but you know, let's uh, have an open mind. Viva España. Hmm, if they're living in America, I lived in America for a while, for three years. It's never, uh, you, you can't be poor and move to America from Spain. It's not that easy. So I think that they were pretty well set up. I'm not gonna go through the lifestyle, but I'm saying that it's not started from the bottom. Now we're here. They're not in the ghetto if they can move from Spain to America. Let's be honest. Even though Spain is pretty much a whole ghetto. Just everything ghetto except for like Ibiza. A bit lack. Is that your boy's cologne? Started balling quick and loans. Now I'm in my flipping zone. Yes, they all copy me, but that's some shitty clones. Staying all designer. The rhythm. And they asked me what I make. I said it's ten with six in rows. Always plug merch link in bio. And I will see you tomorrow because it's every day, bro. Peace. Okay. Okay, Team 10, practice, right? Use all that money to practice and to learn and you'll actually be very good. j Paul, rhythm. The two Spanish guys, uh, rhymes, they've got, they've got everything else pretty much nailed down. They just need to work on, on their rhymes and the wordplay. They're, they're pretty good for that. Uh, the girl, very good, I get a mixed Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea vibe. The second guy, you know, the second guy started rapping with that guy. Uh, style. He's the style, right? To differentiate himself. No, you can't just be copying Jake Paul all the time. <laughs> and uh, the British guy, the rhythm, right? A faster bit rhythm. He was, I, I felt like he was kind of lacking, as in he both had not enough like verses and they were a bit too slow but if you can get like a bit of more of a style to it then that could be passable but overall thoroughly disappointed this is trash don't listen to this as producer really good job whoever produced this song 10 out of 10 seal of, uh, seal of uh, Spanish and uh, producer approval but Jake Paul you gotta practice you can't just do what I did with with uh, the proxy song, just randomly record something and expect it to be good. It's going to be cringy. It was cringy. No. <laughs>